Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with a little bit of a video. Of course, the other day I was out, did me some, well, extreme shopping if you want to call her. Uh, mainly Christmas gifts, some stuff that I needed for projects, some stuff that I wanted, and basically just some stuff that was nice and shiny and caught my eye. Well, of course, the uh, first item here that I picked up was a 65-inch heavy-duty tripod. Uh, of course, it's a Kodak brand uh, tripod, TR650. It looks like by the photo, it does come with the leather case, so, you know, that's nice to store it in when you're not using it. Of course, me being me, I find I break a tripod every now and again, and of course, currently right now, I'm running on my backup tripod because I had a little mishap with my primary tripod here this summer. So of course I picked that one up. It was at the old Princess Auto for like $49. So really I couldn't go wrong for a 65 inch heavy duty tripod. Of course, uh, you know, there are better tripods out there and cheaper tripods out there for different prices. But you know, when you have a decent camera, you want to make sure she's on a sturdy old tripod before you, well, let go of it. So of course the uh, next one here is a rather large purchase. So of course we had our big big sale at our electronics retailer. I went down there and picked one up because well I like uh, having one for traveling and stuff like that. So of course what am I talking about? So of course the big big purchase is an ASUS laptop. Of course it's running uh, Windows 8 which I guess all of them do nowadays. Uh, this one here is a Core i3. I was hoping for an i5 or I'd be uh, you know tickled with an i7 but again with an i7 comes about uh, triple the price tag. Uh, this one here was like $200 off at the electronics retailer so you know I picked up one of them. Um, if I had the cash I probably should have picked up two of them because well I will use the laptop. So of course uh, this here laptop has uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 1 terabyte of the hard drive. So it's going to be a fairly decent laptop, you know, not super super uh, fast or nothing like that, but she is better than the one that I'm currently using that is getting on to be 4 years old. So, you know, that was the big big purchase of, uh, well, the whole bunch. So of course the third purchase here was a Zenith uh, brand. Uh, motion activated well porch light or exterior light the model of this here light is HZ-4133-OR dash dash of course with uh, you know things being the way they are and all that uh, sometimes there's a need to increase uh, security you know keep people out of your yard from breaking into your garage stuff like that so um, this here is the minimum that I would recommend doing for wall security. However, a motion light is no match for having a camera system to accompany this. Of course, uh, I'd recommend having a camera system. You know, it does pay off once in a while and, well, it's worked for me to have cameras. Of course, the second one here is more of a convenience thing. Of course, with big, big projects happening all the time, you know, you think of ways to have light fixtures that come, well, in handy. Why not put a motion-sensitive light fixture in, like, a laundry room, storage room type of room that you don't really use very often, but when you do go in it, sometimes you forget to turn the light off. This model number of this here fixture is an MS-E5ES6350 for 2 PT. Of course this here fixture comes in a brushed nickel finish and uh, uses 13 watt fluorescent light bulbs. So of course the fifth piece here is a part number 75748. Pretty much it's a heater fan motor or blower motor whatever you want to call her. It's for my 2003 Chevrolet Silverado. Uh, whatever it would have been about a year ago I replaced the fan switch thinking it was the switch because well it couldn't have been the motor um, but of course uh, this winter it's doing the same thing so the next obvious part to replace is well the motor if it's not the motor then there is one more part to replace after that part so of course package number six here is a package from well the uh, dealership where I bought the old truck from 
Of course, we're talking about the 2009 GMC Canyon. Of course, the GM part number for this here item is 89039574. Of course, you know, buying from the old dealership can get to be expensive. It's probably the worst choice you could make sometimes. However, in this case, it was actually cheaper than ordering off of the online websites because by the time you pay for the part then pay for the shipping, you're almost paying twice as much as what you could get it here at the dealership. Of course, this package here is a mystery package. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it would be a spoiler in, of course, an upcoming video. So, of course, the next item here is a Mastercraft brand uh, SureShot stapler. This here staple gun uses the T55 staples. Uh, you can buy them both in the Arrow brand as well as, well, the Mastercraft brand as well. This here gun will shoot uh, staples and nails as well as wire tackers too. So it's kind of a universal gun. Um, I've got one of these uh, pretty much identical to this except it's probably getting on to be eight, nine years old by now. Um, I've had it for so long I even forget uh, when I bought it but it's like all beat up, uh, it's, it's full of adhesive and just been knocked around throwing in toolboxes, stuff like that. And well, it still goes, but every once in a while um, it actually shoots its insides out. So you have to take it apart and put it on back together. Of course, that stapler has well overdone its uh, workload. And well, basically this is just a preventative measure before the tool does give out and leave me well stranded on a job site. So guys, you remember the gingerbread kits, of course, you bought when you were a kid. Well, this one here kind of, uh, well, plays along with the big in fad right now, of course, is Disney's movie Frozen. Well, this one here is a gingerbread uh, castle, if you want to say. And, of course, a uh, gingerbread sleigh. So, of course, to carry on a Christmas kind of tradition and to give it a bit of a spin that your child may enjoy, you know, we got ourselves a Disney Frozen castle. So, of course, while I was out, I did, you know, a tour of the hardware stores and all that. You know, picked up some goodies, as you've seen with the light fixture there. You know, did a tour of the electronics retailer and, uh, you know, a few things like that. Picking up the laptop and things like that, too. So, of course, uh, the second largest uh, piece here that I picked up today was a 48-inch clamp and cutting guide. Uh, part number here is 85357589. Essentially how this uh, tool or accessory works is you clamp it on a sheet of plywood or you know whatever it is like oak or spruce or pine or whatever and basically you uh, run your saw along this it basically it creates a straight edge so it's not wavy or anything like that because well when you're dealing with an expensive chunk of oak the last thing you want to do is miscut. Of course this one here is a power fist brand of tool. And of course with uh, Christmas around the corner and well the two year anniversary of buying this uh, 2003 Chevrolet Silverado I decided to buy it a, a gift if you want to say. Uh, this is an item that I wanted on well two or three of my other trucks. Of course them being 20 years old when I finally got a hold of them they just didn't make the accessory anymore. So of course I was in my local uh, parts store of course buying the uh, heater fan motor as you guys just seen. And, well, lo and behold, leaning against the wall was this item here. So, of course, as you guys see there, it's a grill guard for, well, a 2003 to 2006 Chevrolet Silverado, uh, which is pretty sweet considering, well, you know, this truck being, well, over 10 years old now, chances are finding one are kind of a little slim. And, of course, it does come with the wall mounting kit or hardware kit here, so... You know that's nice as well so of course the regular price on well this here item you know was anywhere between eleven and twelve hundred dollars you know me just price checking over the last couple of years you know between place to place well as you see by the dust of course uh, hopefully the cameras picking it up it sat around for a bit I it probably was ordered in for a customer however the customer I'm guessing backed out and it probably costs more to send it on back than well than what they could get out of the item, you know, wholesaling it out at cost. So of course I come along wanting to buy an $85 uh, fan motor, see this thing laying up against the wall. 
with like a half price tag on it and of course me being me you know I'm a little bit of an impulse buyer but of course at the same time I'm a little bit of a cheapskate so I said hey what's your no dicker sticker final sale price on uh, well this here grill guard so he goes back in talks to his manager comes on back out and comes up with the price you know it's it's fair you know 500 and some dollars you think okay fine you know half price it's almost brand new you know just been sitting around collecting dust you know there's no real big scratches or nicks or nothing on it but I say hey man it's Christmas time you got to do a little better than that well he comes back in you know goes talk to his manager comes on back out and well comes up with another price that's like you know very very minimum just a few hundred dollars for this here grill guard well you can't even buy a used one off of the old classifieds for this so they you know that's pretty sweet I had to grab her and bring her on home so of course with all those items I got purchased today I'm gonna have me a few things to do for the next little while of course by the time I get this grill guard mounted on the old Silverado it'll be just in time for its well you know anniversary of me picking her on up of course there was a couple other items that I did not show in this here video that were Christmas gifts of course by the time this video airs it will be after Christmas and the gifts will have already been given but at the risk of them finding my footage, I decided to omit them gifts and, of course, the bags they were purchased in. Yeah, I did. But, guys, that pretty much concludes my mega shopping day that I did. Of course, a little bit of Christmas shopping, a little bit of project videos, a little bit of things to do, uh, you know, just to have kicking around on hand. And, as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.